Oh, hi. I know exactly how you feel when you see that red light come on and look into the camera lens. Something happens and you get nervous, freeze up, or lose your train of thought. Well, that's what this lesson is about, anxiety. Camera shyness is very common, and it's the number one reason why people put off making videos. Most of us don't feel comfortable appearing on camera. The main thing that shuts people down is what I call the inner critic. The inner critic exists because your subconscious believes it to be your protector for better or for worse. It's that little guy on your shoulder who whispers in your ear, you, you're not an actor, stop it. People are gonna be laughing at us. Well, in order to silence that negative voice, you need to recognize your critic and say to it, hey, cut me some slack. This is gonna be fun. And if your inner critic doesn't listen, reach over your shoulder and pick him up and throw him out the window. This little trick helps you take control of your subconscious. So anytime you feel that critic coming back, pick him up and throw him out the window. Just don't allow him to shut you down. Now that you have your inner critic under control, I'm gonna help you put your best self forward. One key to remember is that it's not like you're suddenly being asked to be on live TV Often it's that word, lie, that scares people. And as an actor, I know stage fright is real, but shooting video is like writing a draft of something. You try it, and then you look at it. You have control over it. If you don't like it, you do it again. That's how the movies work. Many, many, many takes until you get it right, the way you want it. Now, most of us are a little insecure about how we look and sound on camera. That's only natural. But don't think for one second that web video needs to be held to the same standards as professional TV. In fact, the truth is viewers like web video in part because it's not professional TV. Everyone knows real TV is fake or staged. People crave reality, so go ahead and give it to them. They will relate to the normal looking person more easily and that's what you really want to build that relationship through video. Now, here's a couple of tips to help you feel comfortable on camera. One, befriend the camera. Turn it on and look directly into the lens and say, hi camera, how are you? What a nice lens you have. Thank you for filming me today we are really going to have some fun. Try to not to blink and not to look away. If you love the camera, it will love you back. You can also imagine the camera is a close friend of yours. When filming a movie, actors often have their co-stars stand behind the camera to help them deliver their lines. You can ask a friend to help you or you can put a picture of someone right next to the lens. That way you will feel a more personal connection to the camera and your viewers. Two, stick your tongue out and say your name. I am Tom McFadden, and I live in Los Angeles, California. Hey, that's kind of fun, isn't it? It opens up the back of your throat so your voice is clear and doesn't crack. It's also a confidence builder. So always do this before you start your videos. Three, do some quick physical warm-up exercise. Start with some deep breathing. <sighs> Take it in and let it out. Then stand up and loosen and loosen up your muscles. Shake it out. This is forces your body to release its tension and boost your energy, which will enhance your performance. Feeling comfortable on camera might take some practice. So allow yourself some time to get used to it. And the more you practice, the more comfortable you'll become. I hope this advice helps you overcome your anxiety and silence your inner critic. Remember, there are no mistakes. Just relax and have fun.